This is Richard Thorndike with BS News for this Friday, Tea Day, April 8th, 2011. And away we go. Dateline Tea Party Temper Tantrum. The federal government stands on the brink of shutdown. Federal employees are heading for the parking lot with no knowledge as to when they'll ever return to work. You know what that means, don't you? All those FCC monitors are out of the office, allowing me to call the teabaggers who caused all of this a bunch of <laughs> kids. Dateline, Banana Republican. <laughs> Republican Congressman Paul Ryan this week unveiled a draconian 2012 budget plan that would radically lower taxes on the rich while slashing benefits for the poor. To be fair, Ryan's plan does provide extra gruel for any workhouse inmate bold enough to ask for it. Mmm, tasty. Dateline, Meth Labistan. It was revealed this week that Sarah Palin's daughter Bristol was paid a salary of $262,000 to be a spokesperson on teen pregnancy. So far, the only consequence of teen pregnancy that young girls have learned from Bristol Palin is you get a cushy quarter-million-dollar-a-year job. People who work with Bristol Palin point out that most pregnant teens do not get high-paying PR jobs. In fact, they say that the vast majority of pregnant teenagers have to get by on the fees and residuals they earn from appearing on MTV's Teen Mom series. Or, of course, Maury Povich. Finally, Deadline, Mr. Pizza Guy. Glenn Beck announced he would be ending his Fox News TV show sometime this year. Exactly when is not clear, but it should be shortly after he lights his hair on fire and runs naked down 6th Avenue yelling, We're all gonna die! <laughs> Beck announced he's stepping down to spend more time with a winged gargoyle that brings him instructions from the deepest lair of hell. That's all there is! There is no more! Nothing! Zip! Diddly! Squat! Good luck with those tax refunds! Richard Thorndike, BS News! Have a great weekend! <laughs> it was a crazy week and it's still crazy it's still crazy and i uh you know i opened the show with uh, you know an example of what happens when you don't vote and of course it's uh, you know pia is off american idol but uh, this guy this guy is still on this guy's still on this boy is he, he, i mean no one is cooler than johnny cash and this guy does that to that song and he's still on. this is what happens when you don't vote and the other thing that happens when you don't vote is the government shuts down because you have a bunch of pinheads weasels small little teeny tiny people who still cannot understand how did i get to congress well how did i get here because the Koch brothers decided to pour millions of dollars into something called americans for prosperity which is headed up by a former speaker of the house uh... in order to ram through in a budget bill policies that oil and gas and for-profit colleges and big banks couldn't otherwise get <laughs> 